Okay, this uh, video is for Jennifer and Freya. We're going to show them how to do the I Love You Baby Massage. Okay, first off, you want to have a nice warm place for the baby to lay. And you probably want to protect it with a towel uh, for their comfort and as well because of the oil you're going to use. A sweet olive oil is the very best oil to use on babies. But um, I have here just Johnson Johnson baby oil. Okay, so you want to get nice and lathered up. Now we're going to work on the tummy. This is normally the baby would be naked. Um, it, it's a little easier to work on that way because you really want to get all the way down. But I'm going to keep his diaper on today. Um, it's called the I Love You massage, and you're going to start with the eye. And that is, you want to use the flat of your fingers. You don't want to use the palm. And you don't want to use the fingertips because you can push a little too hard and hurt that way. So with the flat of the fingers, you just make long eye strokes all the way down like to the groin. Okay? And you want to be careful of the rib cage. You just start right under it. And you go down. You start, start off with a gentle touch. Um, but as you get going, you can be a little bit more firm. And you always work from your left to right, or the baby's right side to left side, okay? Never the other direction. So that's the I. You go clear over here to the side, okay? And then the L is a backwards L motion. And it's right under the rib cage. You're going to go over and then down to the groin. Okay, so you, and it's again, you just start off easily and then you get a little bit more firm pressure, like this, and the U is an upside down U, and it goes right around the belly button and right under the rib cage, just like that, okay, and you do that with both hands. Now, when Sean is really uh, gassy and having problems, this light touch uh, irritates him more than helps him uh, because it doesn't really get things moving. And he gets angry with me. <laughs> so he likes the firmer, firmer uh, massage better. And I'm just going to show you what our doula did to show you just how intense you can get with the massage because you really can't, you really can't hurt them. Um, it causes them discomfort because the air bubbles are moving around their intestines and that's uncomfortable, so they very well can scream while you're doing this. Uh, but that's a good thing because it means that the bubbles are working their way out, which is eventually going to help them. That's why it's important to remember, I love you, while you're doing it as well, because it helps you to continue throughout that screaming. Um, Robert's, er, Robert, Sean's screaming fits have never actually lasted very long. As soon as the air bubble comes out, he's much better. So I'm going to show you now what she's done, okay? Right under the rib cage, you really just dig in there. He's tensing his stomach muscles right now, so I can't get in too far. <laughs> but you really dig it in, like this. The L, you just kind of really twist them up in there. And I'm pushing it a little hard because I haven't warmed up to this today, so he's a little uncomfortable with it. But many times you can also feel the air bubbles under your fingertips. And when you do that, then you can kind of trap it in there and then just work it all the way down to the groin to let it get out. Okay? And then the U as well. So there you go. That is as easy as it is. It's just to continue doing it. When we started, we did it in um, half hour sessions. So it's a lot of just starting over, you know, back to the I's and then the L's and then the U's. And you just keep doing these in rotation again and again and again. You do the I maybe two minutes and then the L two minutes. And you just keep at it until you don't feel any more bubbles in there. At the end, you can give them a little shake like this. And then feel again just to make sure there's no other little stray bubbles. Um, also know that during a massage, the baby uh, 
can get quite warm. So you want to make sure that when you're finished, you wrap them up in a nice warm blanket because otherwise they'll get a chill. <laughs> that tickle. And also, the massage can work up an appetite for the baby. So it wouldn't be unusual that Freya would be very hungry at, right after the massage is over. Okay? And that's important too. You don't want to ever massage her exactly after she's eaten because her tummy will be full and it will make her throw up and things. So you want to wait about a half hour to an hour after she's eaten and then massage her. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Thank you.